as we know that there are two type of energy storage devices one is super capacitor and the other is battery in this video i am going to compare the various parameters of these two devices before discussing let's know a little bit about super capacitor and battery battery gives us large energy density this we use if we need something for long time super capacitor mean it has a high power density if we need something for a very very short time there is a problem now if we need high power density battery say i am sorry i can just give high energy density this means that i can support you for long time while super capacitor says if you need me quickly and faster so then i can support but for a long time i cannot support so this means there is a problem and that problem is a problem a research problem a gap and somebody choose this uh, problem and solve it so this means that he will get a nobel nobel prize very very simple you can see here energy density i mean battery decide how far you can travel how far if you are talking about runner so runner if you run for 1000 mile or per 1000 meter if you are talking about car or a runner so you need battery because battery has higher energy density but if you want to do go faster and so you need power density right now let's move to our original topic and that is energy storage devices this is the comparison okay let's see the battery and super capacitor so both are we need to charge both because we need to charge and then we discharge so look the charging time is very very long up to 5 hours to fully charge a battery but super capacitor in seconds oh that is the beauty so you can write about these beautiful things that we know the advantage the pros of super capacitor that it it save our time it save our time but look battery you have to wait for 5 hours so this is very very a uh, tricky things the discharge time this one i explain that if you need for long time so you need you see so battery can support you for long time but here super capacitor can support you for very very short time so now if you have uh, look go to power density look the power density mean pastor so this mean the power density is kilowatt per kilogram if you take 1 kilogram uh, of the battery and uh, you want to know kilowatt mean uh, so this will give you this around 1 but here the super capacitor is higher you see almost 10 kilowatt per kilogram but here it is the other way around for battery energy density is very very high but for super capacitor it is very very low look here how you can select your problem statement the problem statement is you need both uh, this thing higher uh, i mean per battery power density should be higher energy density is already higher per super capacitor power density is higher but energy density is lower so if you achieve both in one so this means that you did a great job and you can uh, you can achieve a lot of things if you achieve these two things in case of battery or super capacitor but there is a huge problem for instance if you want to run faster so you need lightweight objects so if you want to store more and more energy or more and more fuel or something so you then cannot run faster this is very tricky things and if you wish to run for a long time so if you want to deliver your current or something faster then you will empty your battery so there is a good uh, analogy and there is a great comparison between these two that uh, in one case you need a uh, high energy density in the other case you need high power density so there is a problem uh, so for example uh, this is uh, energy density or power density in this case uh, energy density is power density so batteries are here and super capacitor are here so if we are if we choose the something here in this place this means this is a high power density as well and high energy density as well this is the future direction right now look the stability of life cycle life cycle it's a very very interesting thing life cycle means stability means that 
if you charge in discharge this is one time so for example look this 500 to 2000 this is the battery if you charge a battery in discharge a battery around let's consider this 2000 time and still this capacitor can give us this battery 80 percent of its capacity of its performance 80 percent so this we call life cycle this means that after 2000 time charging and discharging our device can give us 80 percent of the uh, efficiency or something but here you look here super capacitor is very very powerful this is almost 10 so 1 2 3 4 5 it is almost 100,000 or something times. So it means that if you charge supercapacitor 10,000 more than 100,000 times, still you will have 80% of its efficiency of this device. So from here, you can get very good comparison in your literature review and then you can derive a problem statement from uh, this uh, comparison. Okay. So thanks for watching.